Hey guys, what is up? This is Chris Rambo in Nine Productions, and today I have a special video for you guys. Today we'll be installing F Recorder for P3D. Now this may also be applicable to the FSX team users. All right, I, I didn't try it, so you know you guys could try it and see if it works, and let me know. But uh, I I tried it with P3 and it works really good. Now I know you guys back in the past saw me in the description complaining I couldn't get this to work with P3D. Or FSX Steam when I had it installed and that's the reason why I actually went back to FSX because I couldn't really um, you know, record videos with a playback and to really you know, get the shots that I want that I really wanted to and that's why um, videos that I made with like with the Gull and with American Airlines as life as of NGX palette was more centered towards like the cockpit etc and wasn't getting much movement except on the ground because all the recording was raw from fraps and that was extremely hard to do especially doing landings um, recording raw from like those angles that you saw when I was going into seeing kits with American or Barbados with the call okay so nevertheless I got it to work after doing some reading and uh, some videos and it's really simple I'm gonna make this really simple and let's begin okay so to start with what you want to do is you want to go to the FS Recorder website and you want to download under the FSX uh, FS Recorder version 1.331. Once you've done that, I have it right here. You want to open the zip folder and you want to basically extract the contents to your desktop. Voila, there we go. Next, we want to basically add the Recorder FSX DLL to your modules folder in the uh, Lockheed Martin P3D folder. So let's do that. Program files 86, Lockheed Martin P3 version 3, and the modules folder. Take this and basically move it in and replace. Well, I have I have it replaced because I have it there already. No problems at all. So you add again, you add the FS Recorder FSX DLL into your uh, P3 modules folder. That segment is complete. And uh, guys, before I go on, I just want to make, I just want to tell you guys, please, when you're doing these kind of installations, and what we're going to do next is we're going to just edit the, the DLL XML file, and <clears throat> again, we, I, I urge you guys, please back up these, these, uh, these files, okay? When you're messing around on the back end, you want to make sure that if something does go wrong, you have something, uh, a, a, a backup, you know, to replace it. And make sure your sim runs, uh, you know, back in order. You don't want to have to go and reinstall or restore your simulator. So, guys, I urge you, please back up uh, these files, all right? Especially when we go into the back end and edit in the the text and like the XML, etc. Please back it up, okay? So let's let's continue on to the video. And basically, what we want to do now is, as I was saying, we want to go and edit the DLL XML file. So let's go start computer uh, local this users in this case I have my computer named is next gen app data roaming Lockheed Martin P3D version 3 okay so if you guys do not see or do not know how to get there or you're not seeing the folders this is why let me show you how to uh, unhide the folders okay so what you're gonna do is you wanna go to start control panel you should have it probably something like this on the category you just want to go to larger icons you want to go to full options and we want to make sure that view then go into view tab sorry and we want to make sure that hidden files and folders are set to show hidden files folders and drives okay that's the only way you're going to get to the back end here all right and so once that is done let's continue you're going to go to the dll xml file I'm going to right click on that. We want to go to open with notepad. As you can see, I already have the entry in here. Okay, so let me take a scrap notepad and show you guys what to do exactly. So what we'll be using next is we want to go to the readme. In the readme under the, the manual installation section or segment, um, basically this is what we'll be using in order to direct the simulator when starting to the FS Recorder DLL and thus make it work in P3D or FSX Steam, whichever sim you guys may have. Okay, 
Uh, so what we're gonna do? I'm just gonna create a fake uh, 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 text document here. So it's a. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy, of course, to make sure this whole thing is selected. Copy. And I'm gonna paste. Okay. So I'm just using this as a dummy to basically uh, show you guys how to direct it. So. You want to go and just take out this part area here. All right, and remove the brackets as well, please. I'm not sure if that might that may cause some conflict. So just again, yeah, remove these brackets that says you know in between part here. When I go to again your simulator, so program files 86, uh, Lockheed Martin P3D, and you want to go to your modules folder and basically what you just click on the tab here we're going to right click and we're going to go to copy all right and we want to paste that part to the modules folder right here copy and paste all right and basically that is that is it that's as simple as it gets all right so once that is done, of course, guys, are, again, please back up your, your DLL.xml, please, okay? And again, they are ready. They are ready. I uh, provided you with the, um, where is it? Right, so they are ready. They already set the after part. They already have the fsrecorder.dll. So, I mean, that's set already. So all you have to do, again, is just set the part. It's as simple as that, okay? So finish, exit that, that out, and of course this entry would go between your launch add-on and your launch add-on here at the same base document. Okay. So again, this is how it should look. So let's begin and let's begin by starting up. Um, let's save. Let's begin by starting up. Let's just show you guys it works. P3D. Okay, run as administrator. And um, by the way, you don't run this setup for for a version recorder. You don't run this setup. You just do as I just did there. You enter everything in uh, manually. Okay, guys. So on the startup, you'd see uh, a version recorder module warning here. So what you want to do is just want to click OK. If you click cancel, it will cancel the FS recorder and it would not show into your sim. So you click OK and continue with the boot of the simulator. Okay, so the simulator has started. Let us uh, basically uh, just going to do click OK and start up a flight at the default spawn location. All right, so. Here we are loading up. All right, there we go. And basically, let's just go add ons, and there is your FS recorder. Uh, everything works just as uh, everything works just fine. Okay, stop. Let's say this is one, for example. All right, guys. So yeah, basically, um, that is how we come off with the flight sim. I should remove that warning. So that's basically how you get FS Recorder to work with P3D version 3. Alright, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for the support. Um, we're nearing a thousand subscribers. Um, right now, I'm really happy um, to reach that benchmark. And as I said, you know, when I reach a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna give you guys a video, not a flight sim video, but a video about Kushram 49. Okay? So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and take care and have a good one. Chris Rambo 89 signing out. Laters.